Hey guys, welcome back to Economics and Comics. So, um, I'm doing this thing now where I take a couple books from different companies, talk about their paper and stuff like that, the type of books that they do and stuff. Right now we're on Aspen Comics. Now, I really like Aspen Comics. If you've ever gone to a Comic Con or anything like that, they're usually here representing pretty hardcore. I um, mean, you can get a lot of good deals. You can always check out their sites and stuff like that. And, uh, They've always had really good artists, and they're all real friendly and nice. So um, I would suggest, I, I don't know if you guys are into Lady Mechanica, but there's always a new series every once in a while coming out. And it's they're pretty cool stuff. So, I mean, they have a lot more stuff than that. But for this uh, episode, we're just going to be talking about Lady Mechanica and another variant of some sort. These are all special variants, and I wanted to talk about each variant in particular. So... I'm going to go ahead and start off with uh, the Clockwork Assassin here. Um, basically, not a lot of people know this, but they have an online edition. You can order it online, and they're limited to 250 so they're really rare. They're a lot rarer than all the other ones you see out there. Um, you know, there's only 250 of them. So, this one I picked up. I had bought multiple. I had a couple graded. In regard to the paper and stuff, great paper quality, too. The books always look good, and of course the artists are always great. Um, so this is kind of a rare one. So we're going to go ahead and look over it. It, I mean, for me, it's 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 super clean. I don't see anything yet. The front is perfect. The back is clean too. It's a it's a pretty good looking book. The only thing I would say is right here, it's not on the book. It's just like a printer thing, um, ink and stuff. It's a dark book, so it's gonna happen. So because of that, I would say like a near mint condition. I mean, it's it's better than that, but I have to be safe on eBay. Um, the interior is really nice. This book is really rare. And, I mean, you may or may not see them on eBay. I look every once in a while, and there's really never any. I know a 9.8 graded of this is like 200 bucks, um, And this very well could get a 9.8. I didn't see anything wrong except for that on the back. Um, I'm going to ask 20 bucks just to move it. Um, so let's move on. Uh, Lady Mechanic also had a retailer incentive you could get your stores, and that's like a 1 in 10 variant. But um, I have one here. And let's take a look at it because the white cover is more difficult to see the issues. Right here, that's again, I mean, there's, it, you can see it, but there's nothing there. It's just the color. The book lays flat. It's a nice looking book, again. Oh, so here's where we get to the good stuff. There's a, a ding. Now that looks a lot bigger because I'm so close, but it's there. And I'm not 100% sure, but it might break color. That is the only flaw on that book. Usually on dings, I would take one off. So if it was a 9.8, I would say a 9.6. But in, re in regards to that one, I'm going to say near mint minus. This is a 9.2 just to be safe. But overall, it's a really clean book. Um, last but not least, I have a Charismagic variant. It's a limited retailer incentive. It's an older book. Let's see what year this is. First printing, number one, volume one, 2011, I think that says. Yeah. Um, but it's, you know, retail incentive, so I, they probably only get one of them. Oh, on that, on the, this mechanical one, I only asked like six bucks on that, so that's a good deal. This book is 
pretty rare cover. Let's take a look. There's something right here. So if you guys are at home looking for stuff, like, hey, I want to get a 9.8. If you see that, don't send it in. You're not going to get a 9.8. But I've seen people send books in with stuff like that, and they get 9.8. So I don't know. It just depends. It's a little bit of a lift. It, it's not... See, that light's so bright that you can see it very well. But if you really want to look at your books, you got to look at them hardcore like this. It's a nice cover, though. A little right here. Otherwise, this book is really nice. Interior is great. Um, I would give this a VF near mint. That's like a 9.0. I'm only going to ask about six bucks for this one, too. But in regard to Aspen, guys, again, I really like Aspen Comics and uh, they have great stuff. So if you ever get to see them at con or anything like that, stop by the booth. They got a lot of cool stuff. So I hope you enjoyed. See you next time.